The dog's bell. John's dog was a bad dog. He bit people frequently. John had great concern about this. It was not an appropriate way for a dog to behave. His friends in the village always expected the dog to bite them. The news about John's dog spread through the village. None of the people wanted to go to John's house. John tried to instruct the dog to behave, but it never worked. He tried to be patient, and teach the dog to be calm. That also didn't work. John didn't want to punish the dog. How will I stop my dog's bad habit? John asked himself. John's friend came to talk to him about the issue. During their important meeting, his friend said, "The people in the village asked me to represent them. We want your dog to stop this habit. Why don't you put a bell around the dog's neck? This way, we would hear your dog coming down the street." John thought this was a great idea. Now people could stay away from the dog. It would not be able to bite anyone any more. The dog liked the bell too. People looked at him when they heard his bell. This made the dog very content. He liked the song the bell played when he walked. One day, John's dog strolled through the village and met some other dogs. He expected them to want a bell like his, but they laughed at his bell. They said the bell made people avoid him. John's dog shook his head. No, they look at me because they like the bell. The other dog said, "You have the wrong idea of what makes you popular. Of course, they like your bell. It tells them where you are, so they can avoid you. You aren't able to bite them any more. You see, being popular isn't something positive when it's for the wrong reason."